I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about lemon balm as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Lemon balm, or Melissa officinalis, is a herb that's native to the Mediterranean region, and is now found in gardens throughout Europe and North America. Lemon balm has a long history as a treatment for stress, anxiety, thyroid issues, and digestion, infections, viruses, and inflammation. Related to the mint family of herbs, lemon balm is a subtle lemon scent, and its small white flowers attract bees, hence the bot botanical name Melissa, which is Greek for honeybee. The first recorded medical use of lemon balm dates back to Dioscorides, the ancient Greek physician who used the herb for its antibacterial and soothing properties. The famous Swiss Renaissance physician, uh, Paracelsus called it the elixir of life. In the 16th century, English botanist John Gerard gave it to his students to quicken the senses. This appears to be the first recorded use of the herb for brain and cognitive health. The most recent research shows lemon balm has a remarkable healing and regenerative effects in your brain. It stimulates memory and it supports uh, the health of your brain's white matter. Lemon balm's two primary compounds that affect brain health are eugenol and rosmarinic acid. Eugenol is an antioxidant that's five times more potent than alpha tocopherol, found in vitamin E. So, lemon balm acts to boost your body's natural healing processes by eliminating free radicals that damage brain cells. And lemon balm helps increase levels of your body's most powerful built-in antioxidants, dismutase and glutathione peroxidase. Rosmarinic acid promotes the antidepressant effect in your brain by down-regulating mitogen-activated protein kinase phosphatase, or MKP1 for short, and it upregulates brain-derived nootropic factor along with boosting dopamine synthesis. Well first, lemon balm boosts memory. Lemon balm increases the activity of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in your brain. When your brain sends signals, it uses acetylcholine to keep the signals moving. But once used, your brain removes acetylcholine with an enzyme called acetylcholinesterase. But if you have too much acetylcholinesterase, as is the case with Alzheimer's patients, it restricts brain signaling. One way to prevent this signal failure is to prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine. The compound rosmarinic acid in lemon balm encourages blood flow, which helps keep brain cells from dying, and it inhibits the formation of acetylcholinesterase. The result is that your brain is stimulated, memories continue to form, and brain fog is eliminated. And the second way, lemon balm reduces stress. One way lemon balm does this is to promote GABA, a glutamate inhibitor in your brain. Glutamate excites brain cells to act. While this excitation is necessary, too much glutamate results in cell death. Lemon balm promotes a better balance in glutamate levels and helps new uh, brain cell growth. The result is a boost in memory and a reduction in stress largely due to eugenol, one of the components of lemon balm. Lemon balm undoes damage to the brain caused by chronic stress and oxidative damage. It boosts GABA levels and keeps toxic glutamate overload in check. Lemon balm inhibits the enzyme acetylcholinesterase that breaks down acetylcholine levels in your brain. Boosting uh, acetylcholine improves memory, recall, and cognition. Rosmarinic acid in lemon balm works as an antidepressant, and it boosts brain-derived nootropic factor, which promotes the growth, maturation, and maintenance of brain cells. And the eugenol in lemon balm is a very powerful antioxidant, eliminating oxidative damage in brain cells by neutralizing free radicals, and boosting your brain's own antioxidants to provide even more protection. The effects of supplementing with lemon balm uh, can provide an anti-anxiety effect within minutes of taking it. Some users say it works as well as popping a Xanax. 
you should experience an increase in focus along with a sense of calm. And even though lemon balm works well as a sleep aid, taking it during the day shouldn't make you drowsy. Users report lemon balm effective in taming racing thoughts that come with obsessive compulsive disorder. Some even use lemon balm as an effective way to control irritable bowel syndrome. Research continues into medicinal plants and herbs that have been used for millennia to treat uh, cognitive and uh, memory problems. One study conducted at the University of Newcastle upon Tyne in the UK found Melissa officinalis, or lemon balm, to be the strongest in effects on acetylcholine receptors and being a very effective aid for memory. Now, if you'd like to see more clinical studies and clinical trials on lemon balm, go to Nootropics Expert and search for lemon balm or click the link below this video. I've got a study on there that has lemon balm uh, as a nootropic, and I've got another clinical trial for lemon balm used for stress reduction. Lemon balm has a long history of use in treating uh, a host of ailments, including memory and cognition, gas, bloating, earache, vomiting, headache, toothache, and insomnia. For nootropic use, uh, Melissa officinalis, or lemon balm, comes in tea in capsule form. And for the po most potent dosage in lemon balm extract capsules. The suggested dose by naturopaths and alternative health doctors is 300 milligrams of lemon balm extract two to three times a day. Dosage of lemon balm leaf tea is comes out to about one or two grams per cup of tea. So you can use lemon balm in the morning to address daytime anxiety and towards the evening to support relaxation and sleep. Lemon balm is considered non-toxic and very safe for most users. Most neurohackers won't experience any side effects. But note that lemon balm may have an anti- hyrotropic effect. So if you're hypothyroid and on thyroid medication, you may want to avoid using lemon balm. And use caution when combining lemon balm with anti-anxiety meds, antihistamines, muscle relaxers, anti-seizure drugs, and tranquilizers. For nootropic use, lemon balm supplements are available as loose tea, loose leaf tea, tinctures, and capsules. Most neurohackers use lemon balm capsules which come as ground leaves or as an extract. The lowest active dose is 300 milligrams of standard lemon balm. Supplementing above this dose seems to offer dose-dependent benefits. In other words, you'll get more benefit by taking higher doses. For example, 300 milligrams of lemon balm two or three times a day. So my nootropics expert recommendation for lemon balm is, uh, for lemon balm extract, is 300 to 600 milligrams a day. And that's my report on lemon balm. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropics expert and search for lemon balm, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on nootropics expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using le lemon balm, go to the comments section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics, Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.